All right. We're going to do Rolle's theorem here. Or first of all, does Rolle's theorem apply? To see if Rolle's theorem applies, the first thing is look at the original equation and see if it's continuous between 1 and 4. Well, that's a stupid question because this is continuous everywhere. It's a problem. So looking at this, I should know it's a problem. There's no division. There's no fractions. It's a problem. So this is going to be continuous. So first check, is it continuous? Yes. I knew it because it's a problem. It's a polynomial. Okay. Second question, is it differentiable? Well, the first thing you need to do is take the derivative. So the derivative is going to be 2x minus 5. Well, that's a straight line. Is that graph 2x minus 5 always, is, it, is there any discontinuities? No, it's a line. It's polynomial. There's no discontinuities. So this is differentiable. So our first two checks are good. The derivative is continuous, or there's nothing wrong with the derivative equation. There's nothing that can make it discontinuous, dis discontinuity, anything that would mess it up. There's nothing that can make this discontinuous. Okay, the last stipulation is to see if the two outputs are the same height. So the next step is you got to check if f of 1, what does that equal? Well, just plug it in. 1 squared minus 5 times 1 plus 4. That looks like we got 1 minus 5 plus 4 is 0. Is that right? And we plug in the other one, which is 4. We got 16 minus 20 plus 4. Is that 0? So are those two outputs the same height? Yes. Now, it's, now it doesn't matter that they're both 0. Don't let that confuse you. It's just that they're the same. Those two values should be the same to keep going. So I'm putting the word yes because this, the third stipulation is taken care of. My first is continuous. My second is differentiable. My third is the same outputs. So our last question is, where are the slopes 0 is basically the question. So, well, to find where the slope is 0, don't you set the derivative equal to 0? Isn't my der derivative 2x minus 5? You set that equal to 0. And you solve it. And when I solve that, what are we going to get? x equals 5 over 2, which is 2.5. What does that mean? At 2.5, it has a slope of 0. Well, isn't this a parabola? So doesn't that mean it's probably the minimum value? It's the, it's the vertex? Is 2.5, there's my answer, or either of these are, same thing. Is 2.5 in my interval? Yeah, shouldn't it be in the interval? Because according to these stipulations, shouldn't my answer be in that interval? Okay. So we basically checked if rules applies and then apply it. The next one. The next one. We want to now, we're doing roles again. So the first step is, is it continuous? So is it continuous? Well, where would this be, discon where would this be discontinuous? If this is continuous, it is discontinuous. Do you understand x cannot equal 0 because of this? Uh-oh. What's my interval? Five to zero. So does rolls apply? No. no, right away we're done. Rolls does not apply, we're done, stop. That means we cannot guarantee there is a slope of zero on this interval. Now, could there still be? Yes, but we can't guarantee it. This is like a satisfaction guarantee. Rolls is like your little like stamp on your like iPod, I don't know, whatever. 
It's little I guarantee that it's going to happen. We cannot guarantee it. There could be. We can't guarantee it. So we just stop. We say it's not continuous. And then so rolls does not apply. Then that was easy. Now, if it was continuous, do you understand you take the derivative and see if the derivative has any issues on the bottom fraction? Because do you understand a fraction is usually where the discontinuities come, where the issues come where you cannot solve them, is the bottom. 